Is your espresso machine dirty? Let's clean it together. First, let's address a common myth. There are still some Italian cafes where the owners claim never to clean their machine. My answer to that is stop showering for a week and see how people react to that on the bus. It is true that a machine needs to be seasoned before you start using it. But if you never clean it, the taste that comes out from the other end will be strongly influenced by the leftover oils and grounds from all the coffees that have been used before. The taste will be horrendous. The first step with an espresso machine is to rinse and scrub the diffusion screen on the group head. Then you should back flush the group head with a blind potter filter. How often you do this depends entirely on how many cups of coffee you are brewing. In a cafe, it's common to back flush the group head every 100 to 200 cups. For a home user, I recommend that you back flush with water every day, but use the cleaner once or twice a week. Here's what you need to do. Remove the basket from the handle and insert the blind filter. Add the Cafeto Espresso Clean Powder or tablet. Now, lock in the powder filter and run the machine for 10 seconds to dissolve the cleaner and clean all parts of the group head. Then, pause it for 10 seconds. Repeat this a total of 5 times. Now, rinse the group head and back flush again without the cleaner using the blind powder filter. Take the dirty powder filter, detach the basket and soak together in hot water with a scoop of cafeto for 20 minutes. Rinse and wipe the parts off with a dry cloth. Now, you are ready to season the machine by pulling an espresso shot. Don't forget the steam wand and the milk pitcher. These items are cleaned by soaking them in cafeto inverso cleaner, which uses enzymes to eat the remaining milk proteins. Once the solution starts working, you can get into the outlet holes with brushes like this. I advise against using substitute brushes as jamming these tiny holes is very easy. Steam wands are in regular contact with dairy produce, so regular cleaning is essential. You can't just use any cleaner either. If the pH level is wrong, you can end up making cheese inside the steam wand. There's no market for steam wand cheese. Nobody needs it. Once you are done, rinse and purge with a blast of steam and a clean cloth before you start stretching any milk. Your milk drinks are going to taste perfect with this routine. See you next time, coffee lovers.